Welcome to the Feliz family. I'm Freddie Feliz. We brought to you with Camden News. Today we have three officers pulling, seems to be one person over. One, two, three. And actually, when I was driving by, the officer behind that first car that's right here in front did a crazy U turn without turning on the light at the last moment. All right now we don't know why she's getting pulled over, but she is. We will ask questions in a couple minutes. first if they gonna approach me I'll approach them it seems like I'm going to approach them oh one of them left yeah they're gonna leave one of them left there's only two officers now at the scene So now they're approaching the car. Hey, Sergeant, can I get a couple words with you? Sure. How you doing, Sergeant? Get that camera over. Get that right on my can't see you. You can't see me? All right, you so can you me. put down your light? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, How you doing? My name is Freddie Felice. I'm a YouTuber. Sorry. Now, I'm, I'm here today recording because I see that it was one person got pulled over. It was, it was a female. And I believe that I saw two officers just hop on the call for one female. Was she aggressive? Any questions you have, you have to go to our police department. Uh huh. Speak with uh, somebody who can speak with the media because you're identifying yourself as a YouTuber, okay? Yes, sir. All right, thanks. Hey, hey, Sergeant, may I have your uh, name and badge number? Can, three times. All right, thank you. Thanks. Well, that's all, guys. This is Freddy Police reporting to you, Candy News. Welcome to the Felice family. This is Freddie Felice reporting to you with a new artist out here in Camden, New Jersey. So uh, introduce yourself, my man. So where can we find your music at? See, that's the thing. Like, I ain't really put nothing out yet because I don't really gonna have nothing worthy of putting out. You feel me? Right now, this is just like practice. You feel me? Like, nice. So what's your artist name? Showtime. Showtime. So, Showtime. so remember, in the future, guys, remember that artist name, Showtime. He's from Camden. Showtime. Shoot time. Shoot time from Candy. No. All right, brother. Welcome to the Felice family. This is Freddie Felice reporting to you with the with the news of the day. How you doing, sir? What's up, man? First of all, what's your name? Rob. Rob. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people call me Yago. Yago, nice to meet you, Yago. So, where are you from? Where you was born and raised? I was born in basically in Pennsylvania, but uh, I've been back and forth um, from here in Miami for a long time. Me and my wife. My wife's from Cuba. Okay, your wife's yeah. from Cuba. Have you ever visited Cuba before? Nah, not me. I, I don't even got the language down. We've been together 11 years. I don't even got the language down yet. I mean, a little bit here and there, but you know. So, do you have any words of inspiration for the young folks that's coming up here in Camden? Um, basically, um. Kids is coming up in Camden. Do you?
Don't let others make your own story. You know what I mean? Don't be like, um, play your own tape. Don't let what others do, you don't get involved in other people's shit. You want to be you. You know what I mean? Like, if you're a real good track star and people are partying and you love track, but all your friends are fucking partying, stay in track, man. Get the fuck out of here. My biggest regret in life is not joining the military. The military would have straightened my ass out. Really? Hey, how old are you now? I'm 38 years old. 38 years old. So I had a heart attack at 27. Wow. I'm in no way, shape, or form. Is uh, I'm ridiculous. I'm a shell of what I used to be. And, you know, I, I'm out here in the streets, running the streets, whatever. I'll do my thing. But, um... I'll get clean for a while, I'll come back to it, and it grips me up. My dad just passed the brain cancer in March. And, uh... Wow, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that, thank you, thank you. And, um, you know, me and my wife came back from Florida to help. And then we were doing good. But I got jammed up for, uh... Down, down here, I, I seem to get jammed up. I, I jumped back into what I was doing previously six, seven years ago. And now it got me caught again. And my the father's not here. Um, my wife's at home working. I mean, luckily we're still we come from decent stock, so we still got some people who support us and shit. But that 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 safety net's about to be gone. I'm 38 years old. I'm a grown ass man. I'm supposed to be able to take care of a wife. I'm supposed to have kids and everything. I could barely take care of myself. You know. So you had a tough life. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, you know. I don't want to say yeah, but like in the, in the beginning, it wasn't tough, but I went away to college on a wrestling scholarship. I was 19. I went to the University of Lock Haven. Um, I partied a lot, but uh, my sophomore year, I get a phone call. My brother died of an overdose. Wow. So I immediately come home, and I jump into his role in the family. I jump into using drugs. I don't know if it makes me feel closer to him or what, but we were the closest, me and him. So... Everything out there, everything around here, it's built to. It, it, it's it's built to hold you down. But if you are, if you're smart enough and you've got the right tools and you listen to enough people and you take. I mean, you take you take people's advice. I used to throw away people's advice, but if you take people's advice, who've been down that path before, you, you you'll be all right. Like I mean, shit, I'm really good with numbers. Like I said, I should have went to school for military, but I also should have stayed in school. I could have did something with finance. A lot of things, man. Okay, can I pause you real quick? Yeah. First, I want to say for the viewers, uh, if you haven't already hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This is Freddie Fleece with a word of inspiration with random people that I pick up. Uh, well, I'm a taxi driver. I, I do ran, pick, randomly pick up people. So this is this this is the testimony from Rob, was it again? Yeah, Yago. Yago, a.k.a. Yago. So... Yeah, um, this, your words is very, is very, very uh, unique, you know. You've been going through a lot of stuff, you, you know, you have fallen family, you know, rest in peace. But now, but now, um, do you see yourself as you got your life together or no? No, not just yet. And it's, very, like I said, my dad just passed. And this is, you know, this is a very, my, my problem in life has always been I have very bad coping skills. I can't cope with shit. I can't cope with death. I think it happened because when my brother died, like instead of being, um, instead of being like, uh, what's the word? Instead of being like, um, you see so much death, you become um, desensitized. All right. I'm not desensitized. I'm the other. Uh, I'm, I'm on the other end of it. I'm extremely emotional to death, not for my death, but for other people. And like, I've lost a lot of friends and family out here, and it's really not worth it. You only get one life. Live it. Live it up if you want to. But just watch the, everything. The, the devil is out there. And if you're going to make some mistakes and you're going to constantly repeat them, you're going to land up in the same spot that you were knowingly. Even And it's just like, well, how the hell did I get here again? I've made a complete 360 like seven times. Right. I want to make a damn 180. 
like turn everything back around. Huh? Yeah, yeah. This 360 stuff, like it, it, it ain't for me. Like I just, I'll get everything. So, so if you had the same experience like if, that you have today, back when you was 18, yeah, do you think your life would have been take a different, different uh, path? Definitely. 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 I, 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 God. My wife went to the University of Florida, and uh, you know she has seven DUIs. She's, wow. a, she's a big drinker, and uh, she's a little little girl, but she's a big big drinker. Like we we're kind of like two storms when we first met, but now we're trying to like you know get shit straight, we're trying to get our lives back together. My dad did just pass. Love him to death. You, you said your brother passed too, or and my brother soft, passed too. Sophomore year in uh, college. Yes. And you know, I'm just trying to. Well, with that said, guys, look at him. He has a lot of fallen family, and still, even though he did a lot of bad stuff and went through the wrong path, he's still alive today. He doesn't let none of that bring him down. And with that said, guys, that's the interview for the day. Do you want to say something else before uh, we call it? Uh, we wrap it up. Just rest in peace, Mike Yago, Michael Jeremero, Larry Yago, and all the good kids of Pennsylvania. That fell off to that fell split apart from all this stupid shit out here. All right, guys, this is Freddie Feliz reporting to you with the latest news. I'll check you out later. All right.